Hi, I'm Mary Beth Quinn, a mixed media collage artist, and I have people ask me a lot, do I have to buy expensive brushes? And not always is my answer. In many cases, no, especially just starting out. So I had this company, Artify, ask if I would try their watercolor brushes, and I said, sure. So the first thing I noticed is that it came and see, I've already got stuff all over it. It comes in this really easy carry case. It's soft, but it has some substance to it and it has a, a strap to keep it closed. And one thing that I really liked was the information that they gave. There's a little card in here that will show the different kinds of brushes and the strokes that they are good for as well as this little sticker right here that goes through the different shapes of the brush and of course corresponds to the brushes. It's really helpful. It shows right on the carry case what these type of brushes would be good for, the shapes. And the size of the brushes is really easy to find as well as the names of the type of brushes. So I'm just going to try them out and see how they do. So I'm just going to be painting some botanical figures on this piece of tissue paper, as well as I'm going to use this really thin tea bag paper. And I use these to make my layered botanical paintings like this. Just all of this semi-transparent paper, I might tint some of it, but I make these botanical figures <clears throat> and then just layer them over the top of one another so that you get these really interesting combinations of the, the interplay of the different colors of paper and the, the different figures showing through one another. It's really just endlessly fascinating. I have so much fun with it. That's what I'll be making more of today are some of these. I just make these little figures on top of the paper. So I'm going to use these brushes to do some of that. feels really good in the hand. I like the, the width of it. Okay, so I'm, that was the uh, French quill, and I'm going to try this cat tongue. It's got a nice shape to it. And let's see what that's like. It does have a really nice shape for making these small little 
leaves, but still gives them some body. And you can turn it on its side, make some really nice straight lines. Really nice. They pick up color well, hold the water well. dagger brush. You get a nice teal color going here. Plenty of water. It runs a lot more on this tea bag paper, which is one thing I really actually love about it. This brush has a really nice fine point where you can turn it on its side and really get that, that edge there. So all in all, I think I like these brushes pretty well. For, for what I'm using them for, they really did the job. I like the carrying case. I like how they have the little symbols of what, they, what all the different brushes do. They seem to hold water well. They deliver color well. And I looked online and this set, this is the floral set. It seems to be about $15 on Amazon. So. I think it's a good deal. What I don't know and cannot speak to at this point is how they hold up over time. You know, some brushes, my biggest pet peeve is when bristles begin to fall out. I have no reason to believe that these would do that, but I'm just saying I can't speak to that because I have not used these for any period of time. But on the surface, I think uh, as a starter kit, this is a really great one to try. There are so many art products out there. I just love to find ones that I really love and have tried personally and pass that along to you. And if you'd like a list of all of my favorite art products and materials, there is a link for that as well as this specific product in the description of this video. And if you'd like to learn more about this process that I'm doing here, this layered botanical process, I have a new class and that link will be in the description. And I really hope that you join me. It is so much fun. And as always, I really appreciate you spending your time with me. I never take it for granted and happy painting.